Nigeria's current security challenges are too complex for the Nigerian police force as it is presently constituted. It is now so obvious that a national police force with little knowledge of the local terrain, language, culture, and political landscape cannot achieve much. In other words, policing the nation's security from an office in Abuja will simply not work. For instance, can a commissioner of police from Lagos who does not speak the language spoken in Sokoto and who does not understand the culture of the local populace effectively and realistically direct policing in Sokoto State? The answer is no. The best man for the job would be someone from the locality who understands the language, culture and peculiarities. Nigeria desperately needs state and community policing to enable different states and communities effectively tackle their various peculiar security challenges. If we had state and community policing, would Boko Haram be the problem it is today? Most likely not. The community police would have been able to identify the problem and preempt it before it became a crisis. The community police would have been able to identify the terrorists with more accuracy. The same is true for the different parts of the country plagued with problems such as militancy, kidnapping, cattle rustling, pipeline vandalization, baby factories, counterfeiting, cultism, ritual killings, and armed robbery. Crime levels are reduced where there's local support for policing and this is the reason why I have introduced the Neighborhood Watch Bill at the National Assembly. Kindly ask your senator and your representative to support this bill. But beyond that, if we want security to significantly improve, the time has come for Nigeria to have a state and community police. My name is Ben Murray Bruce and I just want to make common sense.